I'm just about to review one of my personal favorite use cases for ChatGPT and that is writing video scripts for YouTube automation channels, so let's get started. But now, first things first, we need to connect to OpenAI.com in order to make use of ChatGPT. You also need to sign up for a free account. Then you want to click on the Try option and that will send you straight over to the chat where you can start interacting with the artificial intelligence. Now, this is a language model, which means that you can interact with it as if you're talking to a real person. So you don't have to send any special commands you don't have to write any code you can just ask it anything and it does have some insane capabilities as i'm pretty sure you know but just like any other piece of software it does have its limitations and in the following minutes i'm gonna help you understand what it can do properly and what it cannot really help you with because that's important now in the meantime there's a good chance that some of you watching this video are not entirely familiar with youtube automation so let me show you an example you see this right here is a perfect example of a YouTube automation channel done right. It's called Anna Whoop and it is just covering the latest celebrity drama. They are posting every other day or so and they are doing a great job. Every time a new scandal breaks out, they are the first ones to cover it. And they do so in a very engaging manner. What makes this YouTube channel a YouTube automation channel is the fact that first of all, it is faceless, the channel owner doesn't have to reveal their identity and they don't even have to record any voiceovers edit any videos or create any thumbnails. They don't need to do the scripts either. Most likely everything is fully outsourced and I'm talking about the whole content creation process from finding ideas to delivering them and posting the actual video. This is a small business right here. We can even call it the big business because it's probably making tens of thousands if not hundreds of thousands of dollars. They've got over 660 million views. If we do the math here, we're gonna get some insane numbers. This is literally a unique way of doing YouTube. Unlike my channel where I have to show my face in front of the camera and record these videos, when it comes to the channel owner behind Anna Whoop, they don't need to do any of that. And we can actually replicate that and make it even better. We're gonna make use of ChatGPT in order to get some of the best video scripts you've ever read. And I'm not just throwing words around, you'll see. But here's the thing about it. Something that a lot of people seem to overlook or just leave out is the fact that ChatGPT has limited knowledge of world and events after 2021. So if you were to ask it about the latest celebrity drama, it is absolutely clueless. It doesn't know anything about the latest scandal it doesn't know anything about the most recent news because it doesn't have the ability to browse the internet. What it does have is a huge database that it gets information from, but that is not up to date. Let me show you an example. If I ask it, what's the weather like today in Texas? It is going to have a reply for that, but it doesn't really help me. As you can see, it is a language model and it doesn't have access to current weather information. Its knowledge is based on text that was available for it at the time of its training. So it doesn't have the ability to browse the internet. And that is an important thing to keep in mind. You cannot really use ChatGPT in order to generate scripts from scratch in certain situations. For example, if I ask you to put together a video script about the top five biggest celebrity scandals of 2022, it won't have an answer to that. Now, if I ask it to do the same thing for 2020, it will probably come up with a pretty good video script, but that is not relevant anymore. Nobody searches for things that are that old, so it doesn't really help us. Not only that, but another problem with ChatGPT is that some of the text it puts together fails the plagiarism test. For instance, this is a piece of text that I tested a few minutes ago. And as you can see, I asked ChatGPT to write an article about starting a side hustle. The thing about it is that over 45% of it is plagiarized. This information is basically taken from some other sources though it does not pass as original content. In certain situations, that might be a problem, but for today's purpose, we don't really care about that because we're gonna do something different. You see, let's just say that we wanted to put together a YouTube automation channel much like Anna Whoop. In order to keep things very simple, I'm just gonna use this case study right here and model exactly what they are doing. Now, the first element you need to get done is the video script, because that's the most important part. If you don't have an engaging, straight to the point, informative script that people actually want to listen to, nobody's going to watch your video. No matter how good your video editing is, no matter how good your voiceover or thumbnails are, you need a powerful script. Let me just click on the most recent upload. And here's what you wanna do next. You wanna click on this icon on the right hand side and then select show transcript. In a matter of seconds, that will generate the transcript for you and you can even toggle the timestamps so you can simply copy and paste it, which is precisely what I'm gonna do right now. Let me just copy a good bit of that text and keep it in my clipboard for now. What I'm gonna do up next is head back over to ChatGPT and ask it to improve 
remove that piece of text because it can actually do that. And hear me out, not only can ChatGPT make it a little bit more engaging, but it can do some even more impressive things, such as it can add humor to it, it can make it more dramatic, more impactful. There are countless different possibilities it is literally entirely up to you. So let's take a look at this. I'm simply going to ask it to improve that text as if I'm talking to a real person. Remember, this is a language model. This is what it's trained to do, answer questions. I'm simply going to type in the question and then paste in the text. But now I'm going to take a moment to actually rewrite that and reformat the text so it looks better. Now, I'm not going to waste your time reading this text right now because I'm pretty sure you can just pause the video and read it yourself if you're curious about it. But I can assure you it is actually going to add some humor or or add anything else that you want. If you wanted to make it more dramatic, you can do that. And you would be surprised with the quality of text that ChatGPT can deliver. I mean, look at this. But seriously, this show has given some of its contestants some pretty serious drama. You know, the usual crying in public, screaming at the judges, falling over in stilettos, just your average day on ANTM. This is literally generated by a robot. This is artificial intelligence. It's not a real person replying to my messages and answering my questions. This is AI. And the fact that it can do something as human as adding humor to a text is just unbelievable. But we can make use of it and make money off of it. That's precisely why I'm doing this video right now. Because I believe that this is a unique, untapped opportunity. You've literally got unlimited content to reference on YouTube. So you can start your own YouTube automation channel where you don't need to show your face, you don't need to record the videos, you don't even have to edit them unless you want to, and you can even make the videos better than the originals by asking ChatGPT for improvements. Now remember, I simply took a little bit of text here and sent it over to ChatGPT, but you can literally copy the whole script, the whole video script, and it's entire and send it over to the same piece of software for improvements. Now, additionally, you can also make use of the Quill bot if you want to paraphrase some of the bits and you want to use synonyms in order to replace some words, but this is not as useful. But now, let's just say that you are done with writing your script and it's a pretty good one. What's next? What do you need to do up next? Well, you need to put together the footage. And as you can see, this is just a bunch of videos and photos of celebrities taken from various TV shows. Now, getting that footage together is going to take some time. So unless you want to do it yourself, which is indeed time consuming, you want to outsource that work to somebody else. And that is a video editor. Now, unless you personally know some video editor, you can just connect to Fiverr.com or any other freelancer marketplace and hire somebody from overseas that is going to get the job done. I mean, some of these freelancers are literally going to charge $20 or so and they will do an amazing job. And there's something else too. If you take a closer look at Anna Whoop in particular, you're going to notice that the success of this channel is closely tied to the voiceover. They have actually created a character here. They have created a persona. This Anna Whoop is not a real person. It's just a voiceover that was given a name. This is probably a freelancer that they found on Upwork, which they hired, and they've been working together ever since. They've been doing this for years now. Let me just play that video for a few seconds so you can get an idea of what I'm talking about. Yeah. This all started in the summer of 2022 when people witnessed Jojo hanging with the- This is just perfect for these specific type of videos. It may not be the best voiceover for short documentaries or some other niches, but for celebrity drama, this is just perfect. So the voiceover will also play a significant part in the process. But there is more to it than that. You see, even if you have the best script thanks to ChatGPT, you have the best video editing in the game by working with the best video editors that you can find on Upwork, and then you also have a great voiceover, that doesn't matter if nobody clicks on your videos, if nobody watches them. So the thumbnails also need to get done by somebody else unless you are pretty good at doing that. I mean, you can use Canva.com and there are a bunch of different templates you can make use of, but getting this quality is not that simple. A lot of people overlook this, but thumbnails are one of the most important elements when it comes to a YouTube channel, so you really want to put a little bit of extra effort into that. Now, the thing about ChatGPT is that it can do this sort of improvements in any niche on any topic that you can imagine. It doesn't have to be celebrity drama. It can also be a YouTube channel about sports. It can be a YouTube channel about movie recaps, about making money online, or you can even do that with short documentaries. It is entirely up to you which niche you go for. But the bottom line is this. It's never been easier to get high quality YouTube scripts. And I think that ChatGPT is literally going to change the game. So you've got everything you need to make this work. That's it for now and thanks for watching.